Hi friends, Miss Lisa. Um, so I thought today we would read a story about do frogs have fur? Hmm. Do frogs have fur? I don't know that I've ever seen a frog with fur. So we're going to read a book about animal coats and coverings. And it's written by Michael Dahl. He's the one that wrote the words. And the pictures are drawn and colored by Jeff Yesh. So let's see what our story says today. So this one is called, Do Frogs Have Fur? Do frogs have fur? Do they? Huh. No. Polar bears have fur. A polar bear's fur keeps the bear toasty warm. The inner layer of fur is thick and woolly. The outer layer is made of hollow hairs. The bear's bright fur helps the animal blend in with the snow. Furry paws keep the polar bear from slipping on the ice. So no, frogs don't have fur, but polar bears do. Do frogs have feathers? Do frogs have feathers? Hmm. No. But cardinals have feathers. Cardinals is a kind of bird. There's all different kinds of birds. Cardinals, blue jays, sparrows, robins, woodpeckers, all kinds of birds. Um, but a cardinal's coat has hundreds of feathers. Short, fluffy feathers next to its body keep the cardinal warm. Strong wing feathers help the cardinal fly. Stiff tail feathers help the bird steer as it flies and flies from tree to tree. So frogs don't have feathers, but cardinals do. Do frogs have scales? Do frogs have scales? Hmm. No, but fish do. Fish have scales. Slick, shiny scales lie flat along a fish's body. Some scales overlap like shingles on a roof. Some scales fit together like bricks in a wall. Water slides easily over the scales as the fish swims in the water. Scales protect the fish's soft body when it bumps against rocks or bigger fish. So, do frogs have scales? No, but fish have scales. Do frogs have hair? like you and me on our head? Do frogs have hair? No, but horses have hair. Hard to see my picture. Horses are covered with smooth, a smooth coat of hair. The row of longer hair that grows along the top of the horse's head and neck is called a mane. A horse's tail sometimes has even longer hair. The horse can swish its tail and shake its mane to swoosh away pesky flies. So there's our horse. And horses have hair. Frogs don't have hair. Do frogs have fuzz? Hmm. Do frogs have fuzz? No, but bumblebees have fuzz. A fuzzy bumblebee lands on a flower. Powdery pollen inside the flower sticks to the bee's body. As the bee visits other flowers, some pollen falls off into the blossoms. The pollen helps them helps make seeds for new flowers to grow. So, do frogs have fuzz? Nope. Bumblebees have fuzz. Do frogs have bristles? Bristles? Kind of like when maybe dad or grandpa doesn't shave every day and it gets kind of prickly, that's what they're referring to, bristly. Do frogs have bristles? <gasps> nope, hedgehogs do. The back and sides of a hedgehog are covered in stiff pointed bristles. This bristly coat keeps larger animals from eating the hedgehog. When it is frightened, the hedgehog rolls itself into a prickly ball. So that's kind of its way of protecting itself. So if something tries to eat it, it's going to get poked in the mouth and they won't probably eat him. Hedgehogs 
have bristles? Do frogs have outside skeletons like this? Is the skeleton on the outside of the frog? Hmm. No, but crayfish do. Crayfish have outside skeletons. A crayfish has a hard outer covering called an exoskeleton. That's a big word for his covering on his body. As the crayfish grows, it gets too big for this shell. The animal that then sheds its covering and eats it. The crayfish hides while it grows a bigger exoskeleton that will help protect him from enemies, from other things that want to either eat him or hurt him. Do frogs have fleece? Sometimes we have blankets with fleece, don't we? And they're very fluffy and warm. Nope, but sheep do. This is a lamb. Lambs have fleece. Tight curls of fleece keep little lambs warm. When a lamb gets older, this soft fluffy hair is cut off and the lamb grows another coat. This fleece is called wool and it is spun into thread and yarn for making clothes and blankets to keep us warm. So do frogs have fleece? Nope. Lambs or sheep have fleece. Do frogs have shells? Hmm. Does a frog have a shell? Nope. Who has a shell? Yeah. A turtle has shells. The painted turtle can pull its head and legs into its hard shell. The shell protects the turtle's soft body from the sharp beaks of hungry birds. The turtle can also hide inside the shell from enemies such as snakes and raccoons. So that outside shell helps that turtle stay safe. Do frogs have slimy skin? Hmm, are frogs slimy? Well, yes, frogs are slimy. They have slimy skin. A frog can soak up water and even breathe through its soft, thin skin. To breathe this way, the frog's skin must stay moist even on land. A thin layer of slippery slime keeps the frog's skin from drying out when the frog leaves the water. So do frogs have slimy skin? Absolutely they do. So there you go. We talked about a lot of different coverings. We got fur for the polar bear, fleece for the sheep, fuzz for the bumblebee, bristles for the hedgehog, shells for the turtle, exoskeletons for the crayfish, hair for the horse, slimy skin for the frog, feathers for the birds, and scales for fish. So lots of different coverings on animals. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Bye.